All right, guys, so this is our setup for our litter of five puppies. Um, I just want to kind of show you guys what we use and what's been working for us. Over here, we have a section where we try to keep everything organized. We were calling this our emergency supplies, um, things that you're going to need uh, real handy when you're taking care of puppies. So first, we have gloves. Um, you use these whenever things get messy, and it always gets messy with puppies. We like to keep these on hand. This cleans the toys. Um, we also like to use these Burt's Bees multi-purpose wipes. They're basically like all natural, so you can use them. They're safe on puppies. Um, you can't give puppies baths until they're eight weeks old because they can't regulate their own body temperature. So these are nice to use because they get pee on their pads and um, roll and poop, things like that. So they're nice to have on hand. Um, this is the cleaner we've been using. It's called Clean Smart. <clears throat> we like it because when it dries, it just breaks down to saline solution. So it's pretty safe to use around puppies. Um, we always keep toilet paper just for little spills. You need to pick something up. Um, I don't think we have it here, but you always need some kind of like paper towels. We keep hand sanitizer for, you know, you don't want to keep germs off of your puppies. So use this before, or if you touch something gross, you can use it after. Um, bitter spray. The puppies have teeth now, so they like to chew on things. And this is yucky. They don't like the way it tastes, so we spray that on stuff. Um, and then we also keep this NutraCal. And it's basically good for a couple different things. But um, the main thing we use it for is when they are playing hardcore and maybe they don't want to, like, full-blown eat a meal. You can put, like, a little bit on your finger and this gives them some, like, a uh, calorie boost and kind of helps them to tide them over. And then down here, you know, these are good to have. Those are your little rags that you can use that soak everything up, the microfiber. Um, these trays have been really great when we transitioned to them um, to start eating puppy mush. Um, and I'll later show you guys how to make puppy mush, but basically you're gonna fill it full of food for the puppies to kind of eat in and it kind of makes a mess and they step all in it, but um, it's a good thing to have around or you can use it as storage or whatnot. Um, always keep trash bags because there's always something to clean up. Uh, puppy pads, we're constantly going through those. And then we also, we have a camera down here. Um, right here we have a portable um, puppy playpen. I would pull it out right now, but it basically just pops open to put them in when you're cleaning the potty, potty pen area. And then um, we also, we have a broom and a mop. You use that several times a day. Um, and this is kind of our setup right now. It's changed a lot since we've had them, you know, with them being newborns, we had them in the closet and then they moved in here. Um, we started out with those washable pads, which were great in the beginning, but once we started training them, um, we went to the pads. So I started the litter box training them, but once they got a little bit older, they thought that the litter was something good to eat. So we wanted to prevent that. So we kept the box, but basically were our hopes is they will still go in there and use it, which they are, um, trying to keep the poop contain and less mess of them, you know, tracking it all through the pen. Um, we got a bed and this is toys and, um, some of the puppies prefer blankets to the bed. So they just kind of lay wherever they feel like, uh, right now we have this little automatic water. Um, we did get them a fountain. Um, so we're just going to kind of wing it. They are starting to eat some of the crunchy dry food we're using Merrick's. Um, we feel like that's got a lot of nutrients that they need. Um, they do get some wet food um, and they still nurse once or twice a day. Also for extra water, we put this little hamster type bottle. They can come up and drink on it. Um, some of them prefer that, or if there's one already drinking at the, th at the bowl over here, they can go to this one. Um, one thing also we came up with is to get a, something that's easy to clean. We got this puzzle piece floor, which is soft and cushiony, but it's really hard to clean because it's porous. And so we we're trying to scrub and it just became a pain. So we bought this plastic, this like kind of hard plastic that um, it's easier to clean. And we've really had success with that. And um, yeah, that's about it.